Hello everybody, welcome to the Facebook Live world. I am here at the beautiful streets of Jerusalem, check it out, beautiful blue sky, it's gorgeous. You see beautiful Jerusalem. By the way, before I get into the heavy talk of today's talk, does anybody know why all the buildings in Jerusalem look the same with the same white stone? Does anyone know why by any chance? It's very simple. Jerusalem municipality actually has a law that all the buildings in Jerusalem are built with that facade, with that stone. It is called Jerusalem stone. How about that? So everything in Jerusalem is built with Jerusalem stone and it is gorgeous. It just gives us such a wonderful, gorgeous look to the whole city, a unified look to the beautiful city of Jerusalem. All right, so let's go down deep dive, folks. And we are crossing the street. Deep dive. Good news. I love sharing good news. I love inspiring people with good news. Today, there was a news item that Israel and Singapore signed a memorandum of understanding. Do you guys get that? Israel and Singapore have just signed some type of partnership arrangement between the countries in terms of training, in terms of technology, in terms of uh, finances. Israel is strengthening its relationships with Singapore. So here's the thing. It's not just Singapore, okay? It's not just Singapore, folks. Israel is strengthening its relationship and growing across the East with India, with China, with other Eastern countries on the Eastern Hemisphere. This is huge. This is huge. This isn't small, folks. This is big stuff. Let me explain to you how big it is. Since Israel's founding, right, the modern state of Israel, and for those of you unfamiliar with Jewish history, the modern state of Israel is really the third Jewish commonwealth. This is the third time the Jewish people have a state. Right? The first time was back in the days of King David thousands of years ago. The second time was after the first temple was destroyed and the Jews came back. So we had a second temple, the second a commonwealth of the Jewish people. And today we have the third Jewish commonwealth. It's the third time in history that the Jews have their own sovereign state. So now the Jewish state is 70 years old. We're a young country. We're very, very young. And ever since the establishment of the Third Jewish Commonwealth, this modern state of Israel, foreign policy and foreign relations has always been very tricky for the state of Israel. There's only, always been like only one country, one or a few, that was willing to have strong diplomatic relations with Israel. That's really it. And today, the str that strong country is the United States of America, right? For the past few decades, the United States of America has been the only real ally of Israel, even to the extent of standing up for Israel at the United Nations Security Council. Except till today when we have a President Obama who uses it as, uh, as blackmail over Israel. But that's another story. So diplomatically, Israel really only had one country with strong relations. That is changing, folks, and it is super critical. Why is it super critical? Well, unfortunately, Europe and the United States and the West are becoming weakened states, weakened states both on the economic levels, weakened states as military powers to be able to police the world, and therefore weakened allies on all different levels. So the time has come, the t sorry, the time has arrived that Israel is now developing relations with other countries around the world and especially to the East. The East is growing. The East is developing. As the East rises, the West is going down. My, ble my prayers go out for the, for the strengthening of the Western countries, America and Western Europe. But the truth is, folks, un it's unfortunate the West is becoming a weak, the weak countries in the world. 
and it is now the East that is rising. So Israel is strengthening its position on a geopolitical level by strengthening economic and diplomatic relations with the countries of the Eastern Hemisphere, with India, with Singapore, even with China. Now, are any of those countries going to be coming up to bat for Israel on the international level, the United Nations? Well, that's a much trickier thing and that's going to take time to develop. But I'm sure it's going to happen over time. But what we're witnessing today is the beginning. The beginning of the strengthening of relations between Israel and the countries in the East is not just a good thing for Israel. And obviously it's not just a good thing for these countries in the East to be able to grow and learn and maximize from their relationship with Israel economically, technologically, etc. But it's also going to be best for America and the European countries who until now have really been the only ones with strong relations to Israel. Why is it going to be better for them? Well, it's better for them because they will be able to not it will be a healthier relationship both between Israel and those countries. Up until now, because they know they're the only ones with the relationships, they are able to blackmail Israel uh, um, blackmail Israel and therefore their foreign policy was always skewed and always wrong because they were always blackmailing Israel because they're the only allies Israel had. But now that Israel won't have to be as reliant on European countries, Western European countries and on America, they will not be able to blackmail e Israel easily enough anymore and therefore that will assist their foreign policy as well. Because believe it or not, the foreign policy of the United States and Western European countries for the past few decades has been to appease radical Muslim states, dictatorships, theocracies, etc. And that's been bad for you. That's been bad for the American citizen and for the European citizens because the world is becoming a much worse place because consecutive American governments and consecutive European governments have been appeasing the radical Muslim world. So by Israel becoming more independent and growing in its relationships with countries in the East, you, the citizens of America and Europe, will be better off as well because they won't be able to blackmail Israel and continue to appease the radical Muslims at Israel's expense, which is also at your expense. So that's it from beautiful Jerusalem, folks. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Until next time, hope you enjoyed, hope you're learning, and help me make this world a better place by sharing the truth about the state of Israel. Take care.